Hello. Hello, everybody. Welcome in. Hey, the screen is Hello. different. Yeah. Wow. Look at this, guys. Okay. Uh, everything's wonderful, guys. We're you're here for highlight heroes. Hello. Hi, Parker. Hi. How are you? I'm good. You doing good? I'm doing my best. I literally burnt my finger like right when we started. No, really? <laughs> yeah, it's fine. I'm How doing good. I'm so. What are we doing today? You're uh, right. Yeah. The fun we done. What do you got? What do you got? Tell us. I'm working on wax seals, and I realized that my candle had gone out, so I was lighting it again, and it hurt. <laughs> so, so literally, I just went out again. We launched, and I was like, "Hey, Parker, talk," and, and went, you were on fire. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Hey, everybody. Anyway, hey, welcome to Highlight Heroes. We're here with Luzelia Art, the fantastic Woo! artist who did all of our amazing art for Conundrum Company recently, and yeah. then some. Uh, she's phenomenal. She's we've gotten to work with her on a few projects actually. Uh, so mm -hmm. we're gonna we're gonna mix things up a little bit because Lou's been doing a lot of work here. So what we're gonna do is Parker and I are gonna ask a few questions here in a minute, but then we're gonna get into the art proper and then there will still be time at the end for questions for you guys. But before we do any of that, Lou, tell the people where to find you. Oh. <laughs> Anywhere. <laughs> Anywhere All of you you, so like Twitter, TikTok, and Twitch. If you type in Luzelia, it might be an underscore A or underscore art, but you'll find it. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can do also Instagram and I have an art station if you want to like see my professional portfolio also Luzelia um, I think that's it I just got onto Reddit it's Wild West out there what's it it is the Wild West wow, yeah I that's one I can't get too into Reddit scares me I'm a coward same okay all right, so <laughs> here's the deal. Lou's, Lou's got some art to show us. Parker and I are still going to, like, mess with projects a little bit, but like Parker said, she's doing the wax stamps. I'm doing gunpla, so there's no mini painting. So if you're here for the mini painting, leave. No, I'm kidding. We're, we apologize. Yeah. <laughs> Don't we leave. We've got small painting. Yeah, we've got small paintings. See, okay, you're here for miniature painting by Lou. <laughs> yeah. Itty bitty paint. <laughs> so we'll, we'll, no, no, stay hound. I'm sorry. I've scared off half the audience, guys. I'm kidding. Obviously, they're going to stay because they love us, right? Mm hmm. Good. Don't, okay. <laughs> <laughs> stare threat. I, your notes say stare threateningly in the camera. That's for me. Those are for You're me. You're better at notes. it than me. So yeah. that makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> okay, but before we do any of this other stuff, we're going to do our announcement. So, Parker, take it away. Okay, I'm here with uh, the schedule, which, by the way, guys, is a lot this week. Uh, so everybody say thank you for Josh, because he's, you know, streaming all of it. Uh, but <laughs> we have our community event on Thursday at 7.30. So that's the cast of Off the Rails and Conundrum Company playing in-character Jackbox games and things, which will be super fun. Then uh, Friday, June 25th, Off the Rails is back with a, like, actual episode of their show so they're playing a full session and then conundrum company is doing a q a on saturday so we've kind of switched those so a big episode last week um so catch up and join us for the yeah it was big uh catch <laughs> us for the q a where you can ask us all of our all of the burning questions you may have that we probably maybe might have answers to uh and then <laughs> june 27th you can join us at 6 p.m for cosplay ground uh dm by blue blue button it's called rise of the npcs and features some new people to the channel so i'm very very excited for that oh my god that it looks really good the cast is amazing mm -hmm. too right yeah it's oh, very good thank you parker as always for coordinating that thing it's a big do my best. All right, guys. So we couldn't make any of this amazing contact without our fantastic sponsors. The first of whom is <gasps> Skull Splitter Dice. Thank I you. really can't. I can't do it like like the boys do, but it's fine. I like the way you do it. It's good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's like when you troll me on the count in. It's a unique Parker <laughs> experience. Uh, so Skull Splitter Later. Dice. <laughs> Not only do they uh, sponsor our program, but they also sponsor a really cool giveaway that we run during our campaigns and one shots. Uh, obviously, we're not running that today because it's a shorter programming element, but you should go take a look at their products. The link is in chat. It's very cool. Love their dice. Very aesthetic. They roll well. Uh, this is all killers. Skull Splitter. So, you know, there you go. Uh... 
Our second sponsor, of course, is the gooeyest of cube companies, Gooey Cube. Uh, if you're a very busy individual and maybe don't have time to homebrew your entire world for yourself for a tabletop RPG, you can go to Gooey Cube. They got the whole world built for you with characters built out, everything done, beautifully packaged, beautiful artwork, beautiful narrative, stories, adventures, and entire planet. Links in chat. Go take a look uh, at Gooey Cube. Very good stuff. They just had a whole new line of stuff coming out. They're always mm -hmm. adding things, so... Take a look at Gooey Cube. Huge shout out to our friends uh, on the campaigns and Tanner Mythalador for helping us get the Twiki up and running. Uh, that's our Wikipedia. Take a look at that. It's very cool. Uh, and of course, last but not least, our charity. Uh, this month, we'd like to focus on the Trevor Project, founded in 1998 by the creators of the Academy Award-winning short film Trevor. The Trevor Project is the leading national organization providing crisis, intervention, and suicide prevention services to lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, and questioning plus LGBTQ plus young people under the age of 25. Uh, it is a very important uh, charity group that provides a lot of very important services to people who are marginalized and mistreated in this nation regularly, misrepresented by our government. Uh, so please, before you put any money into the channel, into subbing, into bits and gifts, instead click on the donation link under the about section on the page below or the link in chat. Make a donation on our behalf, on someone else's behalf, on your behalf, friend, family member, whatever it is, just make a donation, guys. And boom! That is it, my friends, for announcements. Oh. I think that means, Parker, it goes to you. It does. So, since we're not mini-painting, the first question is me, but I have a question for you, Lou. How did you get into d and I think my first experience, like, I'd obviously heard about d and but my first experience was actually doing commissions. Um, mm -hmm. I've done commission d and commissions for mm, five years. So, uh, like, it started out as, like, one or two, but there's, like, someone that I've basically done their, like, port their same character, like, every other year, every year since. So it's fun that's to cool. see both the, you know, their character and my skills grow, so that's exciting. Um, and then the next kind of thing I did was I was in the game design program, and one of the classes was, like, intro to games, and so we were all assigned a game, and every week one of us, like, had to like teach the game. So my mm -hmm. the game I was assigned to was D D. So I got to be a DM, um, <laughs> having never played D D before. Obviously That's hearing fun. about it. Um, but I made like a little fun campaign. It was on Halloween. So I got to dress up and made it like I brought a whole bunch of wigs for everybody and we're all goofy. So that was fun. Um, so that's kind of where I started like through an art and game design uh outlet first. Mm -hmm. So yeah. That's awesome. Wow. I love that art, like, progression. I'd love to see... Have you ever just... I, I bet you have, knowing you. But have you ever just, like, thrown them in a line and, like, looked yeah. at it? I was thinking about doing that for this for this thing. I'm, I might have to, like, click off screen real quick and, like, throw them together. Um, I also don't have permission from the player. So yeah. I don't want to... I don't think they would mind, but I wouldn't want to... But it's it's really cool. And maybe in a, another thing or something I can That'd be do awesome. it. That'd awesome. Yes, I really want to do some redraws of some of my like earlier co like character concepts or just like earlier work, just because it's it's really fun to see how much you've grown in even in just a year. That's yeah, I see those like on Instagram. They sometimes do them and stuff like that, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so now we get into the really deep cutting questions. You know, uh, the first of which is, uh, <laughs> what's your favorite D and D class to play? <laughs> so I haven't gotten to play too many. Um, like, I played, like, elves have elves, whatever. Um, but I think right now, um, like, I'm, I'm playing a Eldar, like, Eldarin ring, like. Oh, Eldarin, yeah. Eldarin, yeah. Eldarin, okay, yeah. Um, I've read a lot of names, but I haven't said a lot of names. I feel that. Um, but yeah, so that was, that's pretty fun, because, of course, she, I, I've talked about her in my, my, on my channel. Uh, her name is Ray, and she's spring, but, like, an all, you know spring like but then she's pretty goth so i like the juxtaposition mm -hmm. juxtaposition there um and in the future i'm looking into playing a Kalistar, which i'm really excited about um i think those are gonna be fun <laughs> i'm doing a lot of research into that so not ton of experience but I, I like cool things that are like mystical <laughs> that is a very fun race to look into the lore yeah Cal yeah Kalistars are really fun they're neat mm -hmm. there's a lot going on there mm -hmm. i like dreams that kind of stuff yeah. So, you like Kalistars. Do you have a favorite, like, class to play? 
So uh, I've played um, a bard, a, let's see, a rogue, and a cleric. Um, okay. I wasn't very good at the, bar the bard class that I played. I um, mean, it was just for like a two shot, so I kind of didn't, like we maybe only got to level five, so I didn't get to like really feel it out. Um, mm -hmm. And with my mastermind rogue, I was really excited about her, but then found out that like the like, campaign didn't, <laughs> all my stuff was not good for what we were fighting, you know? Oh, like, yeah. So I was like, okay, we're going to switch, and I did my cleric. Um, and I'm really liking her. She's so versatile. Um, I really just like all the different spells and I don't know. I, I didn't know how versatile clerics were until like being in your all circles and like hearing about all your different clerics and all of the different, uh, options and, uh, what is it like domains and stuff that you can, you can mm -hmm. go into. So that's been really inspiring. And so I wanted to do that. And she's a, a life cleric. Life is so. cool. That <laughs> healing. Fun. Cleric, yes. favorite class by far. Adore them. Such a freaking mood. That's Definitely. awesome. That's awesome. Well, I think, you know, that means we've gotten through pretty quickly our questions for you, right? Is, is, mm -hmm. that, is that correct? Mm -hmm. So what's the next portion, Parker? What are, we, what are we doing next? We're going to look at some uh, wonderful slides that Lou put together and talk a little bit about how the Conundrum Company art came to be. So, Lou, do you have a character you want to start with? Um, I think I'm going to start from the very beginning. Okay. It all started in the very beginning. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, basically, I was approached in order to do a very, like, an awesome uh, cast of characters. And how I'm going to kind of go about this, how I would address a project like this. Like, I'm okay. going to walk through my, my headspace and that kind of stuff, and all. We can, then we can peek and see all the different progressions of each of the characters and all the little fun fun tidbits that came along the way. Okay. Yeah, usually whenever um, I know I'm going to be doing a character, especially a cast of characters, um, that is going to be in this detail, I wanted to talk to you guys. So f for those of you who don't know, I asked Josh to like have a basically an interview with each of the characters, um, you know, and players separately. And I had like I looked through their Pinterest boards, I looked through their Spotify's. Um, I did like I asked them questions about <laughs> like why they took like why that character chose that class. Like we went at it for like and it was like an mm -hmm. hour an hour call for every single player, you know, for each character. So mm -hmm. you know even for Button and for Sean. They had two hours because of obviously the two players. And I like picked their brains. <laughs> and so after that, and after looking through their mood boards, I then made my own mood board based on the stuff that we had talked about in the meeting. So we're going to go over those. Um, so we'll start with Sunshine. Um, and this is Sunshine's reference. Um, mm -hmm. it's pivoted. So first of all, um, I just started collecting the reference, all of the stuff that we knew for sure that was going to be there. Um, I looked, I found my own reference because there's certain pictures that like I really liked these for how they rendered the armor, um, mm -hmm. like the hair rendering. So I just kind of put an amalgamation of, um, you know, what Button showed me and then what I saw, like I saw. Um, this picture in general, like also just I felt like really captured uh, mm -hmm. sometimes energy so i kind of made mood boards for everybody mm -hmm. um and then after that and i'll show you guys everybody's mood boards mood boards as we move forward um after that then i just started with a really really vague uh where are you really really vague silhouettes i guess i turned them all off yeah here we go where's the game here rotated so this is like the first time I ever drew these characters. This is the first time I ever attempted. And they are like, obviously <laughs> not close to what was the result. They're but, shadows. I like it. So like I, and I just kind of was playing around with like, okay, Morton's, you know, tall. And then we've got, this is, this is Ashi. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> just oh. um, this is, you know, Demi, this is Peach. Um, so yeah, these, this was the start of it. Just kind of really kind of getting in, into the, the feel of it. Um, and then after that, I went through and I did at least three to five um, gestures, 
per character just to kind of like get a whole bunch of um, ideas down. And then I would send the gestures to the player and see their, like if they wanted a different arm position, if they wanted like the head up, more proud. Um, and I can show those gestures as well. I'll just, I'll be showing using Sunshine as an example. And then um, later on, we'll go through everybody's like official sheets. Cause I've kind of put them all together in a, in a nice way. Um, I don't know why I have to it. So this is this is Sunshine Sheet. So you can see how many different little options I did. Like so, I technically only did five bodies, but then I kind of du duplicated it and did different arm positions just because we weren't sure how we wanted to position it, position them. Um, but yeah, so there was a lot to go to that. So once we mm -hmm. kind of narrowed it down to one pose for everybody, then I kind of dribble gestured. I don't know why I have to flip this. And this was this was kind of what we got when we really knew how people were looking. So this is kind of like the baby thumbnail of everybody. Okay. So, yeah. I don't. Yeah. And so I guess Parker, you haven't. You've obviously seen your thumbnail, but you. Haven't I have. Seen. I haven't seen everybody else's. So these are all like fun. little primordial doodle bops of everybody. The doodle bops. <laughs> doodle bops. I don't know. Thumbnail. It's a professional um, term, really. It truly. I enjoy it. Thank you. Um, so that's that. And I feel, after I got this down, I was feeling really confident. Um, mm -hmm. Like once I kind of like nailed down just all of these poses and stuff, that's when a lot of like the brain effort has been like exerted. It's it's weird. Like this is, it seems so little mm -hmm. like, compared to the original, but like deciding if like how the pose is going to be or what, you know, what, where the ornamentation is going to be is, is a lot of effort. Um, and this is like the true concept art part. Like, mm -hmm. so everything we talked about is what I do 80% of my job mm -hmm. is just this part, the not the pretty part that is usually seen in concept art books or, um, you know, in splash art or anything like that. Um, and I feel like people don't realize that because when you look up concept art, you see the, you see the refined stuff, but like, Mm -hmm. What's going on behind the scenes is like a whole bunch of like little doodle boops of iterations. And then only till like we find like the top 10 or something like that, do mm -hmm. we refine it to like go, you know, be shown off. Yeah. So now that I've kind of walked you through everybody's uh, little sketches there, we can also, I also developed color palettes for everybody as well. Yeah. That's so cool everyone's color palette just because I wanted to make sure that we had a good range um, of colors, no repeating things. Um, it was nice and connected. Um, I kind of did a fun thing <laughs> with Josh. I exported this and asked him to uh, guess who was who. <laughs> I don't think mine was hard or Zal's, I assume. Zal's was very easy. Um, Demi's was easy too. Uh, and I bet mm -hmm. the audience can guess too. I think where I might have gotten hung up a little bit was Salvatore and Sunshines. Where the, really? Was that the... I, I think I got them yeah, all right. I feel, like, right? I feel like Peach and Sunshines, the top and the like second to last would have gotten me confused. Mm. I would have been like, which one? Mm, valid. Sunshine or Peaches has more metallic to it. And that's how mm -hmm. I was like, I was like, but yeah, I remember the exercise. It was fun. And I, I will. So I have a, actually off of that. I have a question for you because you got color and aesthetic boards from all of the cast. You also got a 12 hour long playlist and a 600 image Pinterest board for me. Did you ever use that? Or were you like, no fucking way. I'm not going to look at this. Wait, from, <laughs> from me. Oh, from yeah. The yeah so no whenever like a lot of the reference for the armor um and whenever we go through everyone's reference you might see some stuff that i pulled from your uh from your lookbook <laughs> your lookbook <laughs> oh uh, that makes me feel i contributed yeah, it <laughs> did i don't know if like i it's interesting because i know you love grim dark but I'm... most of the characters are not that <laughs> well, like... dark. I like, I like, here's the thing though, and we talked about this, right? And this is why when we were initially talking, I was like, I really like World of Warcraft's aesthetic, and you're like, oh, yeah. we're good. 
because you have done concept art for Overwatch, like you've got that Blizzard aesthetic done. I like grimdark art, storytelling. I <laughs> Sorry, not paid concept art. Thank you, fan art. Yeah, um, yes. <laughs> but like, uh, I like the colorful. I like the flair. I like the crazy. So it was perfect. Like I, the art is spot on from the way I envision things as well. But it was. It's very. I am a very dark storyteller, and then the colors are chaos. But that's perfect. Yeah. I like that. No worries. Well, it, it's honestly a great contrast because you know you want it to kind of pop out against those. Uh, dark scenes grimdark so, should be shiny yeah so yeah these are everybody um i'm pretty sure it's peach i feel like is self-explanatory um they have this awesome metallic uh, celestial pattern demi water um i really we liked the idea of popping in a little bit of red obviously from your circlet and your bag of holding mm -hmm. and i kind of added that to the pants as well it's just a great contrast um love those pants Morton was really fun because Sean wasn't super attached to much. Uh, Sean was mainly excited about the staff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like we Which is why I got so upset last episode. <laughs> <laughs> like we spent the majority of the time talking about how staff, cool the staff would be, how we're going to design it, all this stuff. And when it came to Morton's, you know, armor, we both had the issue of we didn't necessarily know what the status of his armor was, you know what I mean? Yeah. I had him. <laughs> yeah. So I didn't even know we. It was very much kind of. I was reading in between the lines because obviously I knew enough to draw, but like there's an element of like role play that sometimes will change the result in the future mm -hmm. too. So it was very much like a kind of pinning down. It felt like I was trying to predict the future in a way. Yeah. <laughs> or trying to see through the haze. It was like. So, but we definitely got, like, we got quill armor. We pinned that down. And we had some um, references for some more, like, heavier stuff. Um, but still druidic. Um, mm -hmm. So the quill armor, I have never, I think I've drawn spiny armor, like, on a, like, a, one of the lizard races. Um, but it wasn't necessarily, never on, like, someone who was more humanoid. Um, and that was really cool. And it turned out fun. And I feel like it honestly pairs well with um what's this raccoon's name i forgot boris 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 i feel like the stripes on boris's tail pairs well with uh this quill armor on morton those were my um, babies the both boris. are people with druid dips were like can we can i have better armor and i was like yeah i got you boo <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> i had been sitting on that monster which made an appearance in what three episodes the last three episodes of conundrum company mm -hmm. that is literally that armor and you captured it you nailed it out of you hit it out of yeah. the park, so that was very yeah, fun I mean, though to like mm -hmm. there were at least two people where you and i had to talk afterwards about things. yeah definitely <laughs> poor people i can't reveal to who right yeah well nah i think you can at this point but we can't talk about what was revealed but you could talk oh, about sure it. Yeah, okay yeah, yeah. yeah it was it was morton and zal i believe yeah and yeah, yeah, I think it was Morton and Zal. Yeah. Um, Morton's color palette was like the biggest fun twist. And I think that was actually on you guys. Because you mentioned, um, I think Sean mentioned the birch staff. And yeah. I was like, okay, that's interesting. It's not usually the like the gnarly wood with green stuff that you, you see with druids. Um, I love the birch we went, wood. Yeah, we went from birch. We went kind of more autumnal and um, like the red birch forest stuff with like some maple-y um twists and so that was a really fun reference that i've never i've never really seen like that kind of like a birch druid before and it has um, huge like world tie-ins like it's very aesthetic too so there's a lot going on there with it that just don't hasn't fire come magic out yet. missiles at it <laughs> <laughs> if it doesn't get blown up by demi uh <laughs> listen shit's bad news <laughs> sorry it's real Lou. pretty is bad news it is very pretty that was a and beautiful then, piece of work, though. Thank you so much. Um, Zal, of course, black, green, pop of like kind of that berry like, to accentuate the green, and of course, tons of gold. Um, mm -hmm. Sunshine, sunshine, freaking sunset awesomeness, pat, like pastel -y jewel tones with a little bit of silver. Um, we decided to, because they are a um, like kind of a tank, 
we wanted to give them armor, but obviously not metal. So we decided on glass and like that iridescent quality. So that was really fun to do. Um, and then of course, uh, Salvatore. 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 Salvatore's um, so good though. His freaking yeah. Hand. So that beautiful white, black, reddy, gold kind of classic thing with a teeny bit of accent of blue, just a really, really signature color palette. Um, okay. Now we can go through everybody's reference. We've already checked out Sunshine's. So we can check out Salvatore, actually, which I think that was a really fun one. Oh, oh my gosh. So we have... <laughs> I, I, oh God. <laughs> Yes, we have the cane, we've got the capelet. I completely forgot to do this little capelet, but I think it works. Um, you know, this classic dragon for, this is for the skin reference, and then also the gauntlet, um, book, then Tenzin. Uh, Sean really wanted like that Tenzin he kind did. of weird. Mm -hmm. He was so um, into that. <laughs> was I was amazing. not, I never pictured him with like the facial hair, like sort of aspect to his face. And it was very fun to see. It was great. We spent a lot of time talking about Salvatore's feet. A lot of time talking about Oh, Salvatore. yes. Yes, we can because check Because they wear snow shoes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Um, we can actually pop over to Salvatore's sheet, actually. We can just do that. So here's Salvatore's sheet, and everyone has one of these. Um, so I kind of included their initial references uh, or initial concept sketches. And I did their like big portrait. I did their little doodle boop, and then kind of like a... Uh, detail shot, but yes, I I really like I really like the idea of giving Salvatore these like really dapper little I, what are they called like the spats or something like yeah, that where spats, spats yeah. pinstripes it's similar the you're talking about the like actual the foot deal yeah, yeah. and. <laughs> And we were like talking about like would that work? How would that like could the back toe? Yeah, I think that would work. We were How do dragon pants work? Yes, exactly. And so I think that's a really fun little little bit. And like I kind of did like a little velvet collar. Um, yeah, that was super a dapper fun. a dapper lad. Yes, and then we've got lots of different. So like this is one sketch, kind of like being all like. Hmm, you know, and like gazing into the book. Mm. Um, this one's from the back with like a like a swish of the cape. That one's so sassy. Yeah, so that sassy, one's sassy. Yeah. This one's kind of stepping forward, pretty like you know regal. And then this is the one that we went with, kind of open and fun. The floating book was a big thing too. That was like a decision that was made in the moment, right? Yeah, and then we did like these kind of runes, which mean nothing, <laughs> and it's like some cool eye shapes. Um, this is my hidden signature. I'm pretty sure most people have found all my signatures, but I did hide a signature in every every piece. I love them. Because that's what the way I am. Um, so yeah, we can pop back over here. Um, so yeah, that's Salvatore. Zal's reference board is awesome. I love that. Oh yeah. yeah. Very Ooh. Yes, so yes. We got Pretty Boy, Marble, kind of some reference up for some cool gold gilding. This is, of course, one that I got from <laughs> Josh's. That's Which, my aesthetic, baby. <laughs> yes. oh. um, some stuff for Ashi, some Aztec uh, gilding patterns. That's cool. Um, I really love So for his tank top, there's like some swirly kind of fun designs, and it reminded me of Evelyn's kind of like swirly, like, I don't know, smoke pattern on her like body. And I mm -hmm. that as a reference. Another Ashi reference, the coat. Of course, handsome. That coat. Handsome. Handsome. And more Ouroboros. Did the there was that dragon too, right? Yeah, like you can see Adam was very much like Monster Hunter-esque style mm -hmm. stuff as well, which was really cool. Man. So that one was really fun. Good board. Um Those cheekbones. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm This is Morton's board. It's a lot of textures and colors. Um, oh. This is all I got for for the for for armor and like ev all like all of Morton's stuff is like just based on these three pictures basically. <laughs> Which one of them is Skyrim armor? I think. That yeah, Sean yeah, pulled, you, right? Or is yeah. that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it's you. Oh. <laughs> 
Uh, one... Look at that raccoon. That was <laughs> all Lou. One... Lou's the raccoon master. I love Boris. I was so happy that Boris was in the picture. So this is actually when Chun and I became friends. I I think when I, I declare that because I was on you on Google just searching raccoon pictures and finding too many that I identified with. So I just spammed him <laughs> with cute raccoon pictures, and I was like, "Which one? Tag yourself, like <laughs> tag tag your familiar." Yeah, so that was fun. Ugh. Um, that was a good time. <laughs> And then, of course, the Demi, which I think it's really interesting. Each one of you had your own design language. Um, mm -hmm. but you are very clear. Like, you have the exact pattern. You have the exact... Every single thing exactly. I want I'm a it. costume designer. So. Exactly. You're like, this, this, this. Like, I want this liar with this sword and with this. And I was like, all right, cool. Whereas, um, like, Button had, like... I'm trying to think about how long Sunshine's Pinterest board is. It's infinite. I mean, it's good, but it is infinite. <laughs> but I'm just like, but I'm collecting knowledge, and we the like talk about not the exist. Board. And what? The limit does not exist. No, it doesn't. Um, awesome, like Spotify. Like I think Button's very conceptual, and mm -hmm. obviously like knows a lot about the lore and writing it out. Um, I feel like Adam and. Um, Sean were kind of in between. Sean really just cared about the staff. Yep. <laughs> and was just like... Oh. Oh, no. You can. That's another trope, which is like, I just care about this thing, do whatever you want with everything else. Um, but yeah, it was, it was really interesting to work with different kinds of brains on developing, uh, developing a character. Mm -hmm. And then lastly, we've got Peach. I got a Peach reference board, didn't I? Yeah. So here's Peach's reference. You've got, of course, the Montal plate. This one is like heavily inspired with the um, thing. Yes. It's a little. Bit We've got the face. So handsome. So and then cool. there was a lot of talk about this like Art Nouveau filigree. So if you look, there's a lot of Celestial and um, Lily of the Valley kind of uh, patterning. And of course, this is kind of where the color palette got 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 how it is. Oh, God. Um, cool. Yeah, so we can pop over to the sheets. Obviously, we looked at Salvatore. Um, next up is Morton's. They take a second to look. God, that look staff. That staff. God, that staff. We have a little, like, a little blurb here, so that's why there's kind of like an empty space in the middle. So that's where I think I'll start putting my notes, but there's kind of... Um, of course, we've got Morton. I spent so much time on this hand. I remember being a... <laughs> Like a Discord call being like, you better look at these hands. I remember <laughs> that the whole group, you were like, it was, it was during this. Appreciate the hands. But yeah, like all the little eyes and like little, I don't know, it was really fun. The quills on look the Look at that boots. raccoon. I'm just, his little face. Yes. He looks like he sounds like Boris. Every it's one of so these plays has such a good aesthetic. It's so good. It's so interesting to see how close, like, or in, like, the subtle differences and stuff that, you know. How about the doodle boop? How about those Morton poses? Oh, yeah. Let's check them out. Yeah, so we've got some pretty, like, you know, noble ones. Um, Sean mentioned, you know, wanting him to be, like, he's, like, protective and kind of con contemplative, like, a little bit. What's the word? I feel like there was a pensive. Word. Is that the word? Yeah, pensive. Yeah. So you know, kind of like a softness, but also a sadness. Yeah. And then I don't know, just so these kind of were two were like the the close ones, and this one I just felt like was pretty noble. This feels very like I don't know, Renaissance painting esque. Mm -hmm. And but what's really fun is if you look and see all of like the silly forest faces I made. Yep. He's like looking to see where he is everywhere. I love the one where he's on the, on staff. the staff. On the staff is very cute. And then there's like on the on the shoulder. 
It's funny because I look at these like poses you've created, Lou, and I like think of moments in the show where like, so the one where like Morton's looking heroically kind of upwards, there's this scene where he is facing down a flaming tree end that like was his friend and it's like destroying the forest and it's killed a bunch of people and he's just like one to one this thing and I'm like, that's exactly the pose. Like that yeah, was the that's moment. that's what he looks like. <laughs> so like every single one of these, there's like, I could see it in the story, which is really cool. That's awesome. All right, next up is Peach. Um, and I had Peach's patterning. I don't know why it's taking a second to load. These documents are pretty big, so Photoshop's kind of like, hold up. <laughs> Going too fast. There. There they are. Yes. So, yeah, a lot of Peach's design was mainly spent in all of this, like, filigree. Mm -hmm. You know, just getting all of the, like, stars. And all these little, like, you know, Lily of the Valley, the chain mail, the seven pointed star. It was seven, right? Seven? No. Yeah. Seven. What? Seven pointed star. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. We had it. I think it's seven. Yeah. Cape. A cape is so fancy. Cape is amazing. So, yeah. Button had a very specific pose in mind. Um, they wanted them to be looking down at the sending stone, call it like, I think, calling plum, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so that was like, that narrowed down the, the positions a lot. So I kind of almost did not like a 180, but kind of like every 20 degrees kind of a little pivot to see how, how we wanted it to be. Mm -hmm. And we ended up with this one. And this is kind of like the quick little uh, doodle boop. <laughs> Mm -hmm. um, I decided because I really like this, so I've been having like the, the portraits obviously kind of in the background with a low opacity. So I kind of chose to have this one pop out still because that's what I wanted to highlight. So that's kind of fun. Very I have, pretty. If you look closely, you can also see that their armor is pretty dinged up, you know, mm -hmm. in lots of fights. And then obviously the the gauntlets, are like it's like orcish something. The gauntlets of ogre strength. Ogre. Oh, ogre strength. Yeah, so those are not as shiny and definitely like roughed up and, you know, kind of beaten up compared to the super shiny Morthal. So that one's fun. Um, and of course, the mossy freckles. That was mm, lovely green freckles. That did too. Yeah, that's, that was the first thing that I was like, those freckles though. My God. And then here's sunshine. Sunshine! Yes. Um, oh, I, did, I was going to mention, so everyone had their own little challenge. Mm. So, and Sunshine's was probably their hair. Mm -hmm. That one took a minute. And I can actually, uh, I might be able to pull up the document and show how, how I did it. Um, maybe we can do that in Q&A if, if people want to see it. Because um, I probably, about, we're almost done, but I think we're also to that point where it's Q&A time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sunshine. Um, I wanted to highlight their face just because I just had a lot of fun and like, their tattoos and all of that. Here's some of Sunshine's sketches, so like kind of reaching up and out, mm. but kind of bent over. This is more like, this is more playful. We spent a lot of time talking poses with Sunshine as well, because they're yeah, so we like, like, airy and... But strong. Yeah, it was. That's incredible that you managed to capture that. It's so complicated. So we got the pearlescent arm, lots of paint sweater, of course, tons of little painted details because that's what they would have wanted to do. Paint all of their armor, armament on the corset, you know, in the stays. Um, just because I think that looks cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so yeah. And then I, the dragon is their patron, right? It's like a dragon. Their god, yeah. So we did a little dragon constellation in the stars. Sir DeWeer. So, yes. Um, there's Sunshine. And then we've got Zal. Hot boy. Hot boy! And then I did like, I made this pattern and had like multiply it down and that was really fun. Kind of did a lot of little That's orb cool. designs all around. That's my favorite part it's of this all picture, yeah. is that belt. My favorite part is Ashi, but that's just because of who Ashi. I am. Yeah, that makes sense. Ashi! Ashi! 
I had been blocking him out as like this kind of brown color, and then I was making, I was going through everybody's documents, making sure I didn't forget something, and I saw like green with gold flecks, and I was like, oh, duh, and then I threw it in. Just did some, did some magic. Um, if Zor was <laughs> dragon, <laughs> and uh, did that. I tried to mix in a lot of different textures. I love those shoes. Those Dang. shoes are so good. Those gold. I was just like, do we need to fancify these? It's all like not have. Plain boots. You're right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're correct. These are also so the jumps, can... the boots of jumping and striding, I believe, currently as yeah. well, which is very cool. It almost seems like springs in a way, like or motion swirls. Mm -hmm. So yeah, here are his, like um, his initial sketches, just kind of various flavors of sassy. Um, mm. <laughs> Variety of sass. Of course, Ashi. Oh, I feel like. I love envisioning Ashi's voice coming from that creature. It makes me very happy. It, but it looks like it would work so well. Hello, it's me, Ashi. Oh, you but... don't remember me? <laughs> <laughs> I just... Oh, he's so cute. He looks so dignified. He's regal, yeah. He's got a little bit of a... Regal as hell. Ashi... Ashi's like a cat, and Bim's is like a dog. I think one of the things I did, and this is why I love the pose and the picture and the reference that Adam sent on to you with Ashi was I was like, what if he was like a tiny butler? <laughs> yeah. Like, that's the concept for him. A lot of Ashi's, like, like whole thing is tiny butler. And you guys, you nail it, Lou. Of course, and so. Adam's art choices, obviously, and aesthetic choices. Um, so that's all. I'm of course, I gave him some, like, super cool gold and snaky magic. Mm -hmm. right, right, right. Um, and then last, yes. of course, First, not least, our our leader, my girl, Demi, my baby, my captain. So this way, like with this kind of close up, you can see the brooch, mm. you can see the necklace. Oh, I did so the sword. These are like a couple of the sketches. We decided on a pose that um, little Parker was wanting to like kind of stepping stepping up and out, right? Like he wanted mm -hmm. to. Be like playing or yeah, performing. And after hearing about um, her music, like her musical pattern, like connections to the like harmonic resonances and all that kind of stuff, like sound waves and water waves, kind of were doing in my head. And so I was like, what if she like her toe is kind of creating a ripple um, in a wave? And so that's where this kind of came came forth. I love that. So and I did like so some little like water droplets because because we're full. Yeah, for sure. Um, we're, she does shape water like, quite a bit. She does. <laughs> this is a like a pattern that is on the um, the dress thing. It looks so dress. good. Yes. Um, it's kind of like a little velvety, fun water stuff. Gotta love it. Um, I love that you chose to put the necklace like in motion. I just I love that mm. that it's like actually off of her. I think that's very fun. I'm so glad. Into the air. I also this cute little face. God, the boy. Not play. This is so good. So, like, that's the pattern. Come on. So, this is the pattern that's around uh, the oh. liar. Oh, that's so pretty. So, I made sure every time I made a pattern, I tried to duplicate it so I could, you know, display it later. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. That's, that's so good. Obviously not pictured hours and hours of just like shading hair. Um, <laughs> Can we talk about the sword like, there too? So the sword is very good. I do love the sword. The sword okay. is very good. Sorry, Lou. Really One day she'll it. use it. One day. She when she's out of spells to. again. She's a badass. She doesn't need to. When she's out of spells again. God damn. Oh, Captain. So oh, good. Oh, Captain, my <laughs> captain. She looks like a captain here. Mm -hmm. Oh, definitely. So, is there anything else? Oh, do we want to move on to questions, Lou? Are we are we at question time? Is that sure? Yeah. All right. All right. Chat. So prepare yourselves. Have your questions ready as usual. Highlight them in chat if you can. Uh, if not, mm -hmm. mods will be keeping an eye out and we'll try to highlight them for you. It's just easier for us to see them as they come in. Uh, mm -hmm. And Parker and I might be ask Lou a question while a few of those filter in here. Uh, I'll try and think of something. I don't, Parker, yeah. you got a question in mind? Um, I'm trying to. Th Think. 
You said everybody had a challenge. What was everyone's challenge? Ooh, oh, yeah. right. Um, Demi's challenge. Hmm. Good question, Parker. I was curious immediately. <laughs> What's the hardest part about drawing my person? That's a good question. I feel like Demi's challenge was a little bit. Demi actually finished pretty pretty fast. I feel like Demi might have been the easiest, honestly. Um. I guess you could say Bims, because I've never drawn that kind yeah. of character. I wouldn't say Bims was difficult, um, but obviously, like, doing the little leaf, cool little butterfly, you know, yeah. wings is fun. His little uh, face is just so lovable. His little right. his little face. He looks like he started as a pet and became a familiar, <laughs> where Ashi <laughs> looks like he was always a familiar. Exactly. Yeah, so... I guess... Having a character that looks cartoony coexists with a character that's more on the realism spectrum, mm -hmm. making those kind of fit, but mm -hmm. not like you don't. I don't want to get rid of, you know, his cuteness or make you more cartoony. So like making them kind of coexist was mm -hmm. definitely um, not a difficult challenge. But I was like, okay, I got to do this. Yeah. <laughs> um, so Zal, I think, was getting all the gold detailing. Mm -hmm. Gold is not fun to render especially whenever there's lots of tiny itty bitty little grooves and buckles and curves and whatnot it's just kind of Ooh. annoying mm -hmm. obviously sunshine's hair yep. um peaches plates just sh sh shiny things or it's just difficult with lighting um mm -hmm. let's see morton would probably be just figuring out what is going on for his armor mm -hmm. <laughs> And just making the quill armor work and look good. I'm For actually sure. really proud of like how I did the fur. I don't know. Mm -hmm. but, I gotta have a part. Um, so that was fun. Obviously, everybody's hands. Salvatore, I would say. I'm trying to think, maybe the either the arm or just making this cape look real. Like I just wanted, I just wanted it to get that really grim, dark aesthetic. So rendering all these little bits and. Um, I think it was maybe the hand. The hand is so good. The hand, yeah. Oof. So let's see. What's the face? Honestly, dragon face. Dragon face is hard. Super fair. Yeah. <laughs> Blue went, how do I make this dragon hot? Um, <laughs> so let's see. We have a question from Methalador. He asked, if you could cast Find Familiar, what would your familiar be Ooh. in real life? Big question. Familiar. Oh, man. I feel like I would want something either, like, to fly, because flying would be helpful, um, or something that's, like, the bear. Um, mm -hmm. This is not... I, I don't think I could... I'm not good at deciding these questions, but I will say that the partial answer is that my new Pathfinder character, who's a rogue, has a... Uh, has a companion that's a hyena. Mm -hmm. And I'm really excited about that. So, is that <laughs> super fair? <laughs> uh, let's see. Kermaniac says, what have either you or your party done that broke the DM and or the party? And what's your favorite natural 20 or natural one that you've ever had? If you have answers to that. I unfortunately have a memory like a, a worm. <laughs> You're like, no. Nah. Like, if it's good, I forgot it. If it's really bad, I forgot it. <laughs> um, but let me let me think. I've, I know I've rolled a lot of nat ones. Oh. Oh, no. So many that's turned um, into just a blur. Yeah. I don't get good rolls. I need to get better dice. Um, Because <laughs> that's the problem. Mm -hmm. It's the dice. Yeah, um, sure. Get yourself some Zal killers. Skull Splitter Dice, I, everybody. Nice plug. Well done. Ten out of Thanks. <laughs> Playing wise, I haven't like been able to get a ton of. I'm thinking about breaking. Breaking. Um. I guess just playing a pretty like. Wait, do you have a input? Hmm. Superheated axe that we stole from the boss. Oh yeah. So apparently there's like a axe that we stole and someone had uh like heat metal. And it became super OP uh, against like the a boss that we were 
um, attacking that was really invulnerable, like vulnerable to fire, like in heat. Mm. Um, it was just doing a lot of damage that the DM did not expect because we were just heating metal, like because he was holding onto a metal axe. We just kept heating the metal axe <laughs> to do a bunch of damage. Good old heat um, metal. So that was that was fun, and then just playing kind of an emo sad character, but like not in a downer way, but just like. They're all going to the tavern, and she, like, brings her candle that she took to the church, and it's just, like, <laughs> just being somber. I don't know. It's it's a fun contrast, so I feel like that's, that's, that's it. Uh, so we do have the question that we knew was coming. Yes. How did you make Sunshine's hair so floaty and cloudy? Mm. Let me pull up Sunshine. The world wants to know. Okay. The so, like, this is such, everyone was done on their own document once they got they grew up enough to move on to their own document. Once they they grew up. Once they grew up enough. You get your own rooms. I think so this is Sunshine mid progress. So you can see kind of how desaturated and kind of flat everything is. Mm-hmm. Um, you can kind of see me like doing notes to myself. I love when Lou says that and I'm like, this is a masterpiece already. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's okay. It's like every Discord call I've ever been in with Lou being like, I'm gonna make a cute little doodle. Full production. Yeah. <laughs> so what I did was I, because I was spending a lot of time just doing blur with no in in, in sight. Mm-hmm. Um, and so what I decided to do was I kind of mapped out the swirl patterns with this red thing on another layer and just kind of kept it a lower opacity. And I kind of just turned it on and off. And I blocked out like the darks and the lights, just based on the like, picture reference pictures of like sunset clouds. And then I would take um, a smudge tool, like or like a blur, yeah, smudge tool uh, with a just like the classic airbrush, so nothing crazy. Put it on noise and transfer, and you just smudge until it looks and just kind of move it around, swirl it um, until it looks nice. And then also you can do a select, kind of make draw a you know, cloud shape, and then take your same airbrush noise and transfer. That just makes it kind of look a little bit more realistic. Um, Incredible. And then you kind of just like do do that. You can either do it from the top or from like the bottom, because the top has like that hard edge. But if you want to kind of make it look more misty, you know, you can do it kind of like that. And then you just take your good old fashioned smudge tool and just kind of spin it around. And then just keep going until it looks right. And as for the colors, because it, it looks pretty uh, desaturated now, let's turn on the normal one. For that, I kind of did the, the basic pink, but then I took an overlay layer and just with warm colors kind of started phasing stuff in to get that like, under, light, under light look. So overlay, smudge with the transfer and noise, and um, a lasso tool. Cool. And airbrushing. That is so and cool. Patience. Patience, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then out, planning out your swirls is the big one for sure. Um, That's so, yeah, so cool. there's, there's the secret That's hack really to cool. the sunshine's hair. <laughs> Excellent question. We have uh, a question from all of our favorite community DM. What's your favorite aspect of the commission process? Is it the collaboration, showing people the final result, the journey, or something else entirely? What's your favorite part? I like talking to people about their characters. Um, and especially giving them that, you know that sketch stage that I told you, like after I got to that point, I, I had confidence. Mm-hmm. Um, once I hit it there, I was like, oh yeah, it's gonna be good. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and that gives, I don't know, that gives you guys enough to both have confidence in what I'm about to do. So you kind of have that like little thumbnail, that little nugget of like, okay, she knows what she's doing. It's still gonna be surprised when I show, you know, when I show you the more rendered stuff, but like you get that little bit of taste. And honestly, just whenever I get like sketches of, you know, my characters or whatever, I usually only take it to that point, but it still has so much of the emotion. Like you said, you could, you could see just from the um, initial sketches with Morton, that, mm-hmm. that scene in your head. So um, a little goes a long way and just kind of getting to see your all's reactions and all that stuff is awesome. And just talking to people about, this character that they spent, you know, years on, basically, and grown with. So it's really neat. Yeah. Super cool. Let's see. 
I think it's Joshua Og asked yeah. which which character do you identify most with Lou? Mm -hmm. I don't know if they're talking about from our campaign or just in general, but however we want to interpret that, if both. we can get us both. both. You want to okay both. both. Please. Okay, so Lou, which one of the Conundrum Company characters do you associate most with? And then I guess tell us maybe about a character that you've made that you associate most with. Who do you identify with? I guess and why? I'm gonna put the group shot back up so I can. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, you're like, who are these people? <laughs> How'd your work go, Parker? How much did you get done? Did you get a bunch of stuff done? I finished. You finished? I'm doing it's... all the wax seals, yeah. I made legs. I'm proud of you. <laughs> you did it. We're doing this now while Lou gets ready and and for sure, for sure. this question. Yes. The fun we done. Mm. Aesthetic wise, I associate most with Salvatore. Valid. Personality wise, Sunshine. <laughs> Fair. All right, that's valid. Um, Are you gonna get then, a giant cape, please? Just what? Do yeah. I have a do you have one? Okay. Why aren't you wearing it? It's only for a special. <laughs> Missed opportunity, Lou. <laughs> you could have rocked uh, it. Uh, yeah. So, and then as for my characters, all my characters are derivative of me. Mm. So, fair. <laughs> Super fair. I'm, I spend all of my time designing other people's characters and creative characters, and so I'm I'm pretty lazy when it comes to <laughs> it comes to my own. I'm just like, no, nah, good enough, close enough. It, it's basically you know like the Teen Titans episode uh, with when Raven splits off into all of her different. Yep. It, Evermore. That, you know, yeah, I love that. Is my favorite Teen Titans episode episode, and I yeah. So Super all fun. my little D and D characters are just like. Little little ravens. <laughs> little aspect of, of yourself. I feel that. I had a conversation with, I think it was Ryan recently, where I was talking about how you can look at a character and find aspects of the person who made them. Definitely. Even when you try to make a character that is fully different from yourself, there will always be something in how they view the world that it's like, well, it's just me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I took a perfectly good character and gave it anxiety, so... It's fine. I don't know what you're talking about. My beard doesn't set on fire, so... Uh, yeah. Sorry. I'm not like mine. You don't... You don't want to start this. <laughs> <laughs> don't no. come for me! I take it all back! You don't want to start this! <laughs> don't start... You're right. What have I done? Um, <laughs> Mr. Adept asked, if you could make a character in the CC world, who would they be? Ooh. CC world? Oh, man. That's hard. If you could make a character to interact with this party of whatever the heck we are. I feel well, like I'm pretty new to the campaign. So this is a, a relatively uneducated, unlore based answer because I know there's a ton of lore. And so I've only, I only know from, like, you know, the couple much. months that I've- it's no lore yeah. at all. That's sarcasm. I'm being sarcastic at you. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's <laughs> I was like, don't, don't lie on camera. Um, I really like the idea. So I like the idea of being an NPC. Um, mm -hmm. So some kind of like, because I don't know. Like, <laughs> first of all, I've been I've been designing a lot of like character characters lately, and so I feel like that that part of my brain has been thoroughly like wrung dry. And there's just a lot that goes into that. Um, whereas I I think NPCs are just cool little nuggets of like wacky zany characters. Um, here's, <laughs> the, like, here's the deal, Lou. Me and you are going to make an NPC together to go into Conundrum Company. Oh, shit. That's oh, going to happen. As long as you're willing, we'll do it. I've done it before with one of my other friends. I'd love to do it. I'd love to have a Lou NPC in the world. Yay. Okay. I really like the idea of like a really like weird tavern or like a merchant, something like a traveling merchant, um, some kind of like, I just got wacky items for everybody. I knew they were coming. Like, Okay. You know, I just kind of, I'm like, I love this, this oracle that, like, I'm not going to explain things, you know, I'm just <laughs> like, you know. but I don't explain things. I love the I idea. Want a donkey, like. You want to be a crazy, <laughs> vague character. That's perfect. That fits my NPCs perfectly. They're all like that. This is spot on, Lou. Okay. I can't wait to be looking in every place to be like, where's Lou? <laughs> Who has a one-eyed donkey? Hmm. 
I also, so I have a good Southern accent, and right. so I don't know, I've never, like, known where I would want to play it, use it with a uh, character, just because I didn't, I don't want to keep it up that long, but I feel like I could be, um, just like an old Southern lady, like, sit down, you know, I could be some kind of, you know, fortune teller. This. So we got Southerners in that world coming out the wazoo, from Gupper to Nistel, we got them Southern boys, so let's do it, yeah! I love it. Uh, oh oh my gosh spartan martin that's such a nice idea that is the idea cute. of someone buying paintbrushes oh, from Louis that's very that's cute such a, yeah oh very good wow uh commune asked general query how are they all so damn hot uh i can't help it <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's it hurry your phone Let's see. Uh, Josh Og, Joshua Og asked, how was working with Sean and Button on two different characters? Did either of them surprise you? That's a good question. Sean and Button are very different in the way that they character create. Yeah. And describe things. I think, I think one of my favorite things when we... I think one of my favorite things that happened when we were reacting to all the art on screen was Sean us being like we didn't know he wore that and he was like I didn't know that he wore that because <laughs> when and Sean has made comments like whenever you guys talk about clothes I just like tune out for 20 minutes like it's just such a different take yeah. how was working with both of them on two different characters there's definitely a lot of through chords in both mm -hmm. like if you can see here you know, like, obviously, Peach and Sunshine, they're both very metallic. They both have more, um, like, pinker, like, you know, this the, on this side of the spectrum of colors, like, pink to blue colors, like, celestial colors, I would say. Um, there's definitely, like, a softness to both of them, but still strength. Mm -hmm. um, and, like, both have very elaborate designs, which is fun, even though they're, they're pretty, I don't know, they're pretty strikingly different i would say and then and also with uh what is it uh morton and salvatore they're strikingly very different like this one is opulent and you know rich and you know over the top and stuck up and all <laughs> however you want to describe them and then of course morton is very down to earth and kind and you know all this stuff um and pensive but you can still see that they have like they're all they're leaning on something interestingly enough um both have a staff of some kind um i don't know and there's just a certain like quietness and like regality i don't know i don't know would you call salvatore quiet no <laughs> no i would not okay never mind. i fuck. think i think salvatore is there is a there is a part of Salvatore that is quiet and it is like a They're heart. Pensive. Or there is something inside Salvatore that is quiet, but yeah. Salvatore as a character isn't quiet. His There's off, something there. His off his away from the party off off screen almost moments with Salvatore are very quiet. Yeah. Yeah. He loves being in peace and quiet by himself, yeah. doesn't he? Yeah. He keeps, his, he keeps his secrets quiet. It, they're weirdly dignified, those two. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, exactly. There is like a... You would follow both of them into battle for very different reasons. Mm. Salvatore, mm. because you think that he knows what he's doing, because he's confident enough to say so, and Morton, because you know that he will take care of you and make sure that you get back. Mm. Like, they have, like... They inspire trust for very different reasons, but that... That's a very similar thing that I see with both of Sean's characters. They kind of inspire that like feeling in other people. Yeah, I agree. I don't know. It's it's interesting. I feel like since you guys have been playing for so long, and obviously you all have experience with D and D, um, and making characters and that kind of stuff, and, and talking about them, um, it was a really pleasurable experience because. Sometimes I I, ha I work with people who have never, you know, spoken in this way about colors or shapes or anything like that. Um, and it, it requires a little bit more focus and like <laughs> prying, I guess. I don't know. There's a lot more work to it. Um, mm -hmm. It can still be just as validating and stuff, but there's a lot of like, a lot of getting there. Um, yeah. Whereas even though you guys are all very different and you're play like you're obviously your characters are very different. Um, you all have it a way even if it's a different way about of words and pictures and stuff to like to get that to me you know 
and mm -hmm. we're all very good at it in your own way. And so that was really fun. Um, just to get that excitement. Like D&D &D characters are one of my favorite things to do just because it's, like, it's pure excitement. You know, sometimes like with projects, you're just kind of doing this or that. And, you know, someone might be excited about it, but sometimes like it's just, a, it's an ends to a means and it's like, okay, the client wants this, da 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 um, Sometimes it's awesome. And it's like a big project and you're so hyped, but I don't know. It's, it's cool to kind of have this like very personal moment, like here, I made this for you. This is you, like the, like holding up a mirror and you've never seen yourself before or something like yeah. that. Yeah, and there's it's definitely, sorry, I don't want to interrupt you at all. Go for no, it. I was, kind of I like... was going to say that you, you, the way that art, it's really interesting to hear you talk about it that way because I feel like when we received the art, it was a very similar feeling. How every one of us was like, oh my gosh, like this means so much and brings so much to the story because we're seeing this. Mm -hmm. Like, like, we all had these different images of what each one of our characters looked like in our heads. Right. And, like, even, like, just even though we had art, we're like, oh, I don't know, like, you know, and it's just seeing it all, like, from the beginning level one sort of art to where we are now, it's just so insane. And I think Sean said it when we reacted to it on stream, but he was just like, this breathes, like, new life into the game. It, like, yeah. gets you that sort of, like, thing that you can't get without that. So, mm -hmm. I mean, are, it's amazing. Like, I, I it's all you guys too. You know, like it's there's so much of the design that's all you and like your life that you have breathed into it. I'm just kind of, I feel like I'm a little bit of a medium. I mean, obviously, I, I do, I do my 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 part, but it's still absolutely. really absolutely. Um, to do that, yeah. Any other questions? I think we have one more, and I'm in. Oh, we have two more. Um, if we're good, we're a little over time, but is everybody okay with that for right now? Two more, yeah. I'm gonna close it out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Starry asked, um, "Did you have one that you enjoyed drawing more than the others? Was there one that you just really enjoyed, whatever you were, like techniques you were doing or aesthetically? I know that you said Salvatore leans more into your aesthetics. Like, mm -hmm. was that was that more fun, or do you have more fun drawing the ones that are a little more challenging?" and a little further out of your aesthetics? Like, where does that kind of... I mean, I would say my strength is, like, drawing, like, um, you know, figure drawing and more feminine figures. So, um, I don't know. Like, I guess Demi and Sunshine, like, obviously have, like, more feminine frames. And so mm -hmm. that's just my strength. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whereas um, the other ones, like, have just more varying, like, either broader or obviously, like, dragon Mm -hmm. know, those so, dragon figures man those dragon figures so it's just kind of fun to to do what i like that's what i doodle on my own time um and just like getting to nail down sunshine's uh pose was really fun i did a lot of things just because like whenever you take away gravity from the equation it frees up a lot more poses um mm -hmm. to me and so that was fun to get to uh mess with like a floating character um because mm -hmm. not a lot of people do like flying or floating it's usually pretty solid on the ground so that was really fun but although i do think like demi's like step forward was like a was, i don't know it just felt it felt like right and cool to do and i don't know more shortened hands when you, when you can pull that off it's like <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did it. there's a lot of depth I to demi's picture yeah a lot of depth she does a lot of it's very fun it's a very fun um take from mm -hmm. i keep talking like uh like art that I've had done of her before, like the level one art um, that my friend Rue has done. Like it, it's interesting to look at that next to this because mm -hmm. it shows like a level one character to a level like twelve character. Like there's an air of confidence just in a pose shift that could like, oh yeah, you know. So it's a lot of fun to look at that. Uh, let's see. Adam asked if you could pick clothes. Okay, clothes, weapons, magical items, an item the CC crew has to have in real life. What would it be? If you could pick from our items that you had to draw, all those magical items that we keep having, what would you have? What would you want? What comes to mind is only the ones that I've drawn, so I'm sure you guys have really cool items that are like more stowed away. Um, I'll just these, I'll, these were our favorites. Yeah, I'll just I'll answer based on um, what's pictured, not necessarily what they actually have in game, just because mm -hmm. it might be something cool and. Y'all be like, why didn't you pick this? Yeah. <laughs> I might be oblivious to it. Um, 
So I would say probably the cloak of uh, the eyes. That's yeah, you want to many eyes. You want a beholder oh. speaking into your head. You want Agrex? You want an Agrex? Yeah. yeah, you want an Agrex? Okay, cool, cool, cool. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's that a good choice. Fun. I would pick similarly, Lou. Well, well selected. The bag of mini holding is also probably closer. Yeah. Mm. Bag of holding is a lot of fun. So. Bag of holding. Yeah. I would have picked my liar. Of course. <laughs> I, but I have one, so I'm like. Eh. I'd pick Salvatore's I'll take one. hand. Stop it! No. <laughs> oh my god. Woo! Wait. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. no! <laughs> yes, Lou. Yes. No. Spoilers <laughs> for anybody. Oh, <laughs> we have a Q and A on Saturday. Um, <laughs> so make sure time. that you make sure that you check in on Saturday and. Oh boy. <laughs> Make sure you check in on Saturday and enjoy us answering questions about the clusterfuck of a wonderful encounter that was Saturday's episode. Oh, I love that so much. <laughs> it was very good. Uh, anyway, Lou. thank you, Lou, for your amazing art. Uh, and thank you for hanging out with us. Yeah, we got uh, a, yeah, it was a blast. Yeah. We got a few quick announcements before we head out. Uh, yes. First of all, thank you to our partners. The first of whom is Soundtail. They bring all that fantastic ambiance over to us. We love them for it. Make that beautiful music happen. Go check out their app. You can get it for yourself to use on your tabletops, iPads, uh, Android devices, desktops, so on and so forth. Uh, of course, mm -hmm. Arcane Anthems, who makes all those amazing intro songs. Excuse me. Uh, he's got free D&D music on his Patreon. You can go over mm -hmm. there, get yourself a copy of that music to use free of charge. So very good. He's got a bunch of merch and stuff like that. Um, Parker, what do you got? I'm here to remind you guys that we're affiliated with Found Familiar Coffee. So if you want 10% off of your D&D-inspired uh, coffee, you can use our code in chat. That's right. Uh, and of course, a huge thank you to our mods who make this a very safe, cool, fun community. They help manage all those questions coming in and highlight hero. We love mm -hmm. you guys. You're the best. We'd be lost without you. And of course, last but not least, Luzelia. Luzelia. Jesus, Josh. Say the name right. You did it so well the first time. I got it right. Lou, tell the people where to find you. Uh, I know the links are all dropped in chat. If you type in Luzelia, under, usually Luzelia on Twitch, Luzelia underscore art on TikTok and Instagram, and Luzelia underscore A um, on Twitter. I just post art and weird like cute animals so that's that's it for twitter um and when <laughs> and it's not like finished art it's usually just random sketches so that's that's a preface for people who are trying to follow my twitter again lou <laughs> says random sketch sketches they're like they're like really really good lou doesn't know how to leave a doodle alone <laughs> <laughs> If Lou likes what Lou's drawing, Lou's like, well, I could make it better. Yep. <laughs> could just add an overlay layer and bring some light. Yeah, I just throw some lighting and I'm like, this was a doodle, I think. Mm -hmm. I think. But yeah, thanks for hanging out with us, Lou. Thanks. Thank I appreciate so it. And yeah. Thanks for all your work. And welcome to the welcome in. Yeah. So great to be here. And mm -hmm. thank you all for you all like the questions and nice comments on the chat. I know like we were talking and stuff and everyone was saying nice things, but thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks, guys. All right. Well, we'll see you here on the 24th. That's Thursday for our group reward community event where we're going to play uh, a game together. I'm looking forward to Brothos meeting Demi, actually. I'd never considered that interaction, and I've just realized oh, it's going to happen. <laughs> Bard times! Hello! We're just gonna sing musicals the yes. whole time, okay? <laughs> okay, I love it. That's 10 out of 10. Okay. Hey, Perfect. bye everybody! Bye guys! We're all in this together. together.